What's up everyone, China Cycling here. So as we all know, carbon spokes are getting more and more popular these days. Uh, a huge part because of these Luan Hyper wheels seemingly taking over the globe. But one question I see asked a lot is, are carbon spokes strong enough or are they super fragile and always breaking? So today I thought we'd find out. Let's take a look. So carbon fiber rims have been used on wheels for quite a while now and it's fair to say that carbon fiber rims are kind of the norm for performance wheels. But carbon fiber spokes are still relatively modern and until a few years ago weren't very mainstream. Like you had the lights of uh, Mavic, uh, Karima and Lightweight with their carbon spokes. Uh, but they were prohibitively expensive and not really for the masses, as well as each having their own disadvantages. Now, most wheel brands these days, such as uh, Zip, Roval, and Envy, are still using traditional steel spokes. So, what's the difference between steel and carbon spokes, and why use carbon? So, just like when you're building a frame, the main advantages of carbon fiber are lightweight and high strength. Now, the Learn Carbon spokes are like 2.2 grams, whereas Whereas a Sapim CX Ray is about 4.5 uh, grams. So you might say, oh, that's only 2.3 grams of difference. But when you consider the average wheel set has like 45 spokes, that's over 100 grams of weight right there. Now, what about strength? Well, that's definitely harder to measure, but thankfully, I have a bunch of toys here that I can utilize. Uh, we have a universal test machine, and so we can check the strength of the spokes using that. So we clamp the spoke at both ends and then pull the spoke apart with an increasing amount of strength until it ultimately fails. Now, the machine also can measure the elongation of the spoke as well as how much force is being applied. And so when most wheels are built, each spoke has a maybe around 120 kilos of tension in it and so when a universal test machine is finished pulling it gives us a nice chart and we can see how much force is applied and how much the spoke stretched with that force now when a wheel is built with no tire on it and no one riding it or whatever on average maybe each spoke has about 120 kilograms of uh, spoke tension on there and so if you look at the bottom part of these graphs you can see that the carbon spoke with 120 kilograms of tension in it is stretching very little compared to the steel spoke. Now, when you're riding the wheels, it's really hard to model like how much tension is on a particular spoke because there's a whole bunch of variations that decide this from your tire pressure, your tire type, the spoke lacing pattern, the number of spokes, the gear you're in, if you're out of the saddle, the power of the rider, the pedaling style of the rider, etc. But the most load any single spoke is likely to see is probably somewhere around the 200 kilograms of force mark. Now, if we look at this chart, you can see that at 200 kilos of load, the Luen carbon spoke has stretched by about one millimeter, whereas the Sapim CX Ray has doubled the elongation at about two millimeters of stretch. And so this stretch or lack of stretch is what contributes to the super like snappy acceleration feeling you get from carbon spoked wheels. Uh, and it's also why they're so stiff. And by the way, so obviously I work for Windspace, so I'm biased, but all of this information that I'm spouting right now has been verified by third parties. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to uh, Raul from uh, Lucia Technic, his video. And so the guy, Raul Lucia, he's a composites expert, like, and he did a similar test to this where he stretched the spokes and measured how much they stretch for a certain load. And his results were very similar to these. I, th I think his, his results were even better for our spokes than these, so go check out his video too. And also for the stiffness of the wheel claim, uh, I'll also put a link below to Peak Talks video. And uh, yeah, so uh, he found the carbon spoke wheels were vastly stiffer than the uh, steel spoke wheels that he tested. So you can check those two videos in the link down below. And so what about durability? So the spokes definitely aren't designed to uh, open bottles of beer, uh, but they can take a lot of abuse. And now again, for a scientific look, you can go over to Lucia Tech's video. So he pulled the spokes up to like hundreds of kilograms of tension and started whacking them with a steel edge ruler. And uh, yeah, they didn't, they didn't give up the ghost. And so 
Uh, for more anecdotal evidence, you can check out this picture. So this is one of our customers from Shanghai, and they were riding along, you know, 30, 40 k an hour when a stick got flung up from the road and caught between the spokes of the rear wheel. And obviously between the spokes, it'll spin around until it hits something, and it hit the chainstays, and it got jammed between the aluminum chainstays and the carbon spokes. Uh, not a single carbon spoke got broke, and you can clearly see the, ch the seat stays were not so lucky. Uh, the alley sprint is a very stiff frame. Aluminium is not the weakest material in the world, and yeah, you can see the, the, ch the seat stays gave up before the spokes did. So, so yeah, carbon spokes, they're definitely pretty durable. And so from normal day-to-day -day riding without sticks throwing up into your spokes, uh, it's almost impossible to break a spoke. Now, again, if we refer back to the earlier graph, you can see that the steel spokes break are around 300 kilograms of force. Uh, however, the Lewin carbon spokes, they don't break until way over 500 kilograms of force. Uh, if you look around the 300 kilogram mark at the Lewin graph, like there is a slight dip in the graph, and so what this was is actually the, the aluminum head of the spoke uh, actually bending in the test rig that we built. So the test rig that we built only clamped the spoke from two sides as opposed to our hub, which grabs it a lot tighter. So yeah, when we pulled it up to 300 kilograms, the metal, the aluminum of the, of the spoke head actually bends. And that's what the slight dip in the spoke is. Uh, but as you can see, it doesn't completely fail until it gets to way over 500 kilograms. So yeah, nothing catastrophic until almost double what would be catastrophic on a traditional steel spoke. But another thing to note is that not all carbon spokes are created equally. The same as carbon frames or carbon rims. There's good carbon, there's bad carbon. It depends how you use it. It depends if you know how to use it, etc. Uh, if you look at one of our competitor spokes on this graph, uh, you'll see, uh, for starters, the spoke stretches a lot more than our spoke. So you can see this by the angle of the line going from zero to 200 kilograms. With our competitor spoke, there's hardly any advantage over steel spokes to be found. So at 200 kilograms, it's stretching almost as much as a traditional steel spoke. Whereas the Lewin spoke has a lot less stretch up to that 200 kilograms, which you see in day-to-day -day riding. So in conclusion, uh, I personally think that carbon spokes are the future. I love the way they feel. I love how snappy the acceleration is. Uh, I think we're gonna see more and more of the big brands switching over to carbon spokes too. I mean, they're lighter, stiffer, stronger. And while they're not totally unbreakable, they can handle enough abuse for your road or gravel ride or opening beer. Not recommended. Seriously, don't do it. Anyway, that's about it for today. Just a quick video, just because like I say, in a bunch of comments, I was seeing people asking about how durable these spokes were. So I thought I'd put out a quick video to show you. Uh, and yeah, if you have any more ideas of how we can test these spokes, let me know, we'll do it. I was thinking about shredding some vegetables or something, uh, we'll see. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you've learned something today, give this video a thumbs up, give me a like, it helps me out. And if you're new here, subscribe, ring the bell, that way you won't miss a single video. Okay, that's it for today. China Cycling, out.